band also has a calendar feature and the calendar feature is probably my favorite. I am able to post my calendar all the way into the future as far as I know it, which is absolutely awesome. And so my parents already know about things that are happening in December and it's only June. And with the calendar, I can also connect a map to every single event. So if we're having an away game or competition, I can connect the location. Then they can pull up a map on their cell phone and see the directions exactly how to get there if they're going to be able to join us at that event, which is really awesome. Additionally, if you're using the desktop version of the app, you can print the calendar. And so I often use that to print the calendar for my cheerleaders at work so that they're able to give their calendar to their employer so that they know when they need off for games and practices and those type of things, which is really, really awesome. I want to show you how to add events onto your calendar. Um, so that you can share this with your team um, and parents and so that they are well informed. What I like is that I can add locations. And so you're going to go to this little calendar down here at the bottom. And I'm going to post when our state competition is. So you can go through and look for each thing like our dead week, our no contact week is going to be in August. So that's already in there. And so there's a list view and there's also little dots for on the calendar. If I just wanted to add something, I'm going to go ahead and press the little plus button up the top and I'm going to add state competition to our calendar. I'm also going to add a description. So for my description, I'm going to put in that dates are to be announced. but this gives them a good heads up of when they need to think about it. And so we can set the date for it and our state competition is gonna be in December as of right now. So it'll be, and you can just scroll through to add the dates. So December 12th and then competition may also lead to the next day. And so I can put an end time for the next. And so, I can also set these for all day so that they can plan to be out of town both of those days. If you're setting up something like practices, these two little arrows will make that a reoccurring event, but state competition isn't going to be reoccurring. But if you have a weekly practice every Wednesday, it's great to use that reoccurring feature. What I like to do is also put the location for where things are. So for us, competition is going to be at Southwest, Southeast, sorry. Missouri State. So once you type it in there, you can search and it's going to give you that university. So I'm going to click on the university and that's going to attach a map. I can put reminders on there for when they're going to have a little reminder of the upcoming thing. And I can also share this as a post. Once you have everything in there, you, all you have to do is click done and it is added to your calendar. So I'm going to open up our event so you can see what it looks like with the calendar. So as you can see, it has given the address for the university. Um, what's really great is I can then click on that calendar and I can open up in my map app. So I can open this up with, with my maps and I can get those directions right away, which is really great for our parents for when they're going to out of town games. I can also attach other things if I need to. I can go back and edit. What's really great, so I press on those three buttons at the top so I can edit it, I can send an alert. I can also copy this event to other bands. So if my junior varsity team was going to travel with state with us, I could copy it to that band and then also send it. I can also save the event. So if I click save the event, I can add this to my personal calendar on my phone. So it is already in my personal phone calendar and it is saved in there as well.